Today we're talking about how to significantly reduce the protein in your urine of diabetic kidney disease in advanced stages. We're talking about a GFR of 30 or less, and some people even had 11 in this study. And they slow down the loss of kidney disease to age-related declines. This information comes from the Journal of Nutrients, May 2024, and it's titled, LPD Reduces Proteinuria and Decline in GFR in Advanced Heavy Proteinuric Diabetic Kidney Disease. So what they did following some guidelines, they adjusted for a certain protein amount per day, which I'm going to give you that formula, all right? So you have to find out the kilograms in body weight. So a 200 pound person, you divide that by 2.2, it gives you 90. Okay, then you multiply 90 times 0.6, and that'll give you the amount of protein per day to have. Now those people that stayed to that equation, okay, were able to reduce the protein in their urine from an average of 4.8 to 3, and they were able to slow the loss of kidney function to a normal age-related decline. Line was incredible. They also improved inflammation. They followed all their medications to get good conventional care. They lowered inflammation. The one other thing they did is they took keto analogs of essential amino acids. Now, in the literature, in this study, they say that you don't have to do that because 0.6 is okay, generally not to cause protein malnutrition or too low protein status. So they took these keto analogs of essential amino acids. These things are great, wonderful. What they did was they helped other metabolic factors. They helped with protein assimilation, absorption, they help with nutritional status, so a lot of things. Now, the thing with these keto analogs of essential amino acids, they're medical foods, and they're also a little pricey, but it's something to look at. It's an option. Okay, according to the new guidelines, another option is essential amino acids, but they're not as effective. Okay, they're not as effective as those keto analogs. Two keto analog companies that are in the United States right now is Ketorina, and the other one is Albutrix. We work with Albutrix. I prefer Albutrix over Ketorina. But you can look at both and decide if you wanna use those and which one's right for you. I prefer Albutrix because they're using more magnesium in some of their products, which is much better than attaching those keto analogs with calcium. But regardless, regardless, if you don't wanna use any of those supplements, you don't wanna try that, you can still do this diet at 0.6 grams per day. Make sure you're seeing a medical doctor, make sure you're healthy, you're cleared, you're taking all your meds. All the protein in this diet was vegan sources, except for five meals a week, they allowed for some animal-based protein, okay? And it's better to pick like chicken, fish, turkey, egg whites, eggs, okay? So those are better options for you. But it's something to consider to think about, okay? We're just giving information to everybody out there. Thanks for watching. Bye.